All right, so if we're not counting uh, Hunted, we're officially at the end of the road for the official Team Fortress Classic maps. We have arrived at Ravelin, or maybe it's Ravelin on second thought. I'm going to go start going with Ravelin just because, you know, that's what it literally... When you, if you read it out literally, that's what it is. I'm going to shut up. I think it's foreign for, like, Barrier Fortress or something. But anyway, I'm going to shut up. Um... This was added in way later than every map, uh, other map. I've alluded to this before. I think either it was January 13th or 23rd of 2003. So this is when Steam was coming around and it was just starting up. And Ravelin here was added to the Steam version of the this game. Uh, you can, as far as I'm aware, just take the WAD files and the map files for this and put it back into uh, the non-Steam version. It'd probably work just fine, I assume. I could be wrong. Um, it's also worth noteworthy that that's the update that added in that updated version of Dust Bowl. If you hadn't seen the Dust Bowl video, go watch that. And also, that was the update that put in teleporters. So, of all the official maps in the game, which this might, in fact might blow people's mind, this is the only map that was designed with teleporters as an actual thing. And I think that kind of shows because, it, um, in terms of length, this is a pretty wide map. So I almost can't help but feel that they're thinking like, oh, let's let's add in the, we have this new teleporter thing. Let's have it a map to take advantage of it. And uh, yeah, after this, there was no content ever added to the game ever again. They, they patched it quite a bit after this. So and it, it, I've, as far as I'm aware, the la latest update to this game was in 2020. So it's not like this game has been abandoned necessarily. But this is kind of the the downfall. I I feel you know, for but like you know if that makes any sense. Because then afterwards you got the Counter Strike Source and like you know other newer games coming out, and then eventually Team Fortress Two. So I feel after this point, this is probably when the series started to, or this game started to like you know kind of fade away. From what I understand, I'm not trying to make any real call. Anyway, let's talk about the actual map. Um, it's it's pretty good. I wouldn't exactly call it top top tier, but I have fun playing it. And of all the official maps, I don't seem to recall ever playing this one on an actual like map road server rotation. So I don't know if other people don't like it, or if it's just people don't want to play it, or like you know other more popular choices were there, so people just go in with that. Um, yeah, it's not the super complicated, but it does have some strategy to it, as I'll point out. So the thing I'm gonna point out right away is that in terms of actual like aesthetic, this one is definitely a lot more complicated, like you know in terms of like you know some of the decorations and lighting and stuff than any other official map. Which makes sense, because again, we last map was in 2000, and then now it's 2003. Computers have progressed, you know, quite a bit since then, so I think they're a lot more competent that they could release a map with a lot more, like, you know, lighting and, like, you know, just decorations, especially in the base more so, and, like, not have your computer run like shit during, like, a 32-player match, which I do recommend a full server. This map is definitely big enough. So, yeah, anyway, let us begin with the center area, which is actually quite small for... You know, like, usually there's that kind of bridge stalemate area. This is suppo supposedly that, but it actually doesn't really quite fit that. Because this map is so big that a lot of times it's not, like, a constant, like, heavy weapons, grenade, soldier, like, like fuck fest like it is in, like, 2-Fort and some other maps like that. It's a lot more subtle uh, from what I've played with bots, you know. Maybe it's a little bit worse with actual people. But you got a couple ways to go into the enemy base. Uh, we'll talk about red. You can go through the main entrance here. Or, and I'm taking playing the role of the attacker, I suppose. Um, you could take the ladder here to give you some other ways to go. And there's quite a few ways. And you can also, you could use this way to go back around if you really want to. And as you can see here, there's actually three separate ways to get into the base. Um, and it's just straight capture the flag, I might add. This is actually not to get into the enemy base. This is to get back into your own base. If you, uh, like, you know, either you can go this way or to go around and go this way. But this will actually circle around. And this is how you can get in. I guess also, too, if you're an attacker, um, you can just circle around from up here and go this way. Um, the only danger is that because of these lights being on and there's being so many different places for the snipers to be, you're going to get shot. I'm just going to tell you that right now. You're going to get shot. No questions asked. I mean, you could also go this way, but a good sniper will be looking this way, and it's not that much darker. Uh, you could deal with those lights, though, which I'll get into in a second. But already, I think you, you can tell what I mean. Like, there is no, like, other stock map that had this much different, like, like, you know, kind of angular, like, you know, like, round, and, like, you know, di just different geometric, like, stuff going on in different textures, like, as anything beforehand, so this is just significantly more complicated than any of those. Even the lighting, too, like, you know, even if that's low res, there's still a lot of light going on here. 
So here's where that other way goes if you want to go this way, which again, I don't recommend. I mean, keep trying, or if you're really confident with your conk jumping, or if the other person just cannot snipe, like, worth their life, then try this way. But overall, no, I, I wouldn't really recommend coming up this way, but we'll talk more about the base in a second. My fucking mouse would be such a piece of shit. I really should have cleaned off my mouse a little bit, my mouse pad, before doing this video. Oh well, it's been like a month since I've done that. It's got hair on it. Oh, I might have to just stop. Well, I'll finish the overview, but then I'll, I'll just stop and wipe that real quick. It sound like a fair deal? Sorry if the mouse seems like it just stops. I'm not sure why it's doing that. Anyway, back to the actual map. We've been distracted a lot here. Um, here is the another way you can go. When I said there's three entrances, there's actually more like four, because there's also the waterway here, which you, you can also get used to get back up. If you're being attacked and you want a way to try to get around the enemy players that are like coming this way, then, you know, definitely take the waterway. So that's all your options for kind of getting in. And obviously, if you see, there's a resupply here, so this is really helpful if there's a lot of action going on here, and you want, like, you know, a time to get, like, you know, some health and stuff. And yeah, you just saw, you had saw firsthand there. Snipers are insane. Even if that's just, like, you know, one sniper. There's gonna be more than one, I guarantee you, at all times. If you play this on an official server, even, I can guarantee there's probably gonna be more than one. Because there's two different sniper areas, just, like, designated ones, and then there's all these areas over here. Hell, you could be a sniper and be looking this way, even, and just waiting for someone to come this way. So, yeah, here's some more re resupply. Here's a resupply area. I just wanted to come down this way, too, because this is what I mean. With all the sound effects and just things going on here, you did not see this kind of stuff. This level of busyness in any previous, like, kind of Team Fortress Classic map. So that's something. So anyway, let's go talk about the, this little water area here because this is real important. This water area is important because you might have noticed this little crevice here. Well, there's a generator. And if you've ever seen this in any of the other maps, you you know that you want to bring a demo man here and blow this up. And you know what happens if you blow this up? Well, all the lights go out up here. So now it's harder for enemies to see you. And it's not so obvious when you're sneaking through. But there's another effect of doing that, which is even more important in my opinion, that we'll get to as we explore the blue base here. You know, there's a lot going on here to break down, so let's start this way. Here is the main entrance. Um, you got a couple ways to go here. If you go this way, obviously, it leads to the capture point. Well, we're gonna go to resupply first. That leads back to this area here, which has an elevator to help you get up to, like, an upper area. Because this map is quite complicated. As you see here, actually, I'm actually retarded in the sense of I forgot that this technically map is not capture the flag, it's reverse capture the flag, like Epicenter. I forget that every single time I play this, even though I played this map before, that somehow that just eludes me. I always think it's straight capture the flag, but no, it's reverse capture the flag. So this is where your flag spawns. I don't know why I do that, I'm so stupid. Not that that fundamentally changes anything, but you know what I mean, that's actually what this is. So yeah, anyway, there's another little spawn area for you. You want to keep, so yeah, just make sure you know where that flag room is. You can get to it from the bottom area here. I mean, you can also be try to be an enemy heavy weapons guy and get in there. I don't know why you'd want to do that, though. There's that other resupply area we brought up to, which will get you up to the top area here. Which I'm, we're going to take a peek at right now. And uh, like I said, you want to take advantage of this. If you're going to, if you're trying to, like, you know, leave, this is a good way to get out. Because you don't have to worry about getting sniped. And you can also go up this way. And have some more areas to be sniper even and like hide. Um, this is a very important uh, area to keep in mind, like, in mind though if you're an attacking player. Especially if the generator has been blown up. Very important shit. You see that's what I mean. The enemy's trying to bring the flag to here. I, I don't know why I always do that. It's not like I haven't played this recently too. I played this like a couple nights to go before doing that just to have it refreshed in my mind and I still forgot that. Anyway, here's a big base area. This isn't like in, um, Crossover 2 where you kind of have to come this way if you want to get things done. There are alternate ways, but a lot of times, especially if the generator's got a buzz blown up, you gotta go this way, but I don't feel it's as, like, you know, um, punitive as can out, like, Crossover 2's little main area, for example. Though, obviously, if they build sentry guns there, you're probably gonna have a bad time. Anyway, um, that's how you get to the one sniper tower there. You got this no entry here. Which always confuses me, but this is actually links to the capture point, which we'll talk about in more detail later. 
Um, you can't, obviously, you can't go this way if you're the attacker. I don't really need to tell you that, though. In fact, sometimes I think it doesn't even work if you're... This is your base, because I swear I've been blocked out. But I don't usually go that way anyway, so I don't know. Anyway, so that's how you can get up to, from the generator to here. Which is another good way to go if you're trying to get through and, like, get the flag delivered. Now, we're going to talk about these, because there's two ways to, get, like, to go to the capture point. Even though they're essentially the same. You got some med kits here, which is nice. I always like when maps just throw the med kits out in the open like that. It's it's minor, and again, look at that. Like, I mean, there's got lights, there's got, like, you know, different signs and stuff. It's just so much busier than a lot of the other stock maps. Okay, maybe not that much busier, but, you know. Compare this to, like, 2 Fort, and, like, there's no argument. So, this is that upper area. This is where you can get the flag, or another way you can come out. If you want to, like, you know, just, like, you know. And this leads to that a higher area. So, you really want to... If the generator's broken, you want to take this way, even if the spawn point's right there. And why is that? Also, too, before I forget about that, this is how you get to that other, the upper sniper tower. Why would you want to go this way? Well, because the generator also is what's powering these lasers here. Now, obviously, if this is your team, like if you're blue team, I think you can go through these just fine. No problem. But obviously, if you're red team, uh, you're going to get your ass fisted if you try to go through here. However, if you blow up the generator, these get turned off. So you have a nice, easy place to go to get to the capture point. Because the moment you bring the flag there, you capture that point. And it's not really that important, but it's worth bringing up that this map does not reset. It's not like Epicenter, where if you capture your flag in the enemy's base, then it resets the map. That is not the case here. The map just keeps going. Now, this might seem that if you've blown up the generator, you have no... Like, if it, that your base's generator has been blown up, you have no, cho cho like, hope in hell of, like, you know... Salvaging the situation, but that's not true. Engineers can fix these, as far as I'm aware. I don't think I've seen it happen, but I swear the bots have repaired it. I've had to blow that up twice. In fact, yeah, right there, clear as day. Engineer can repair the broken generator after it's been broken. Perfect. Anyway, so if you haven't done that, the only option for you to try to capture the point is to get to here. You have two ways to go here, and the problem is you have this gate here. Now, if you're the enemy and you touch this gate, it activates the alarm and it slowly goes down. And I think that might actually be one way, considering the exit said there. Again, just back to that aesthetic thing. Look at how much busy. Look at how like much crap is here. Look at look how like kind of more round these polygons are compared to some of the other like you know, like other stock maps. Anyway, this takes a while to go down. Um, so it's actually possible though to capture. This is not a stalemate heavy map. I've totally captured the map. Or captured the flag, or I guess captured the base with the flag, whatever you want to call it. Just going this way. But your chances are really, really, like, much lower. Um, if you have some grenades reserved, you might be able to, like, fling some into both areas strategically. But it's much, much harder to do. And obviously, if there's a sentry there, um, you know, that's going to cause you a lot of problems. So I think that's the only way to get in, is to drop in here, actually. I know you can exit, but I don't think you can go back out unless you drop this way. I believe. I could be entirely wrong. Anyway, this is... This, so, yeah, that's that's Ravelin or Ravelin or Ravelin or Ravelava Ravelin or whatever you want to call it. Um, in my main problem with it more so than anything, it's just it's a little too wide. Again, I think they were trying to cater to the addition of teleports in this version. But, you know, I just feel it ends up slowing things down a little bit. It does mean, unlike a lot of the other Cap to the Flag maps, or I guess in this case, Reverse Cap to the Flag... It works better with the full server. Um, but you really got to take advantage of conk jumping or teleporters if you want the match to be really fast-paced. Um, but it's not terrible. Um, I, I certainly enjoy it, and I'm, I'm kind of stunned that I've never seen it in official rotation. Nope, doesn't seem to have done much. I just watched the thing, so I think... My other mouse is acting stupid, too, but I don't know if i got to watch this. Uh, my Saturn mouse I'm using. I, I still insist. I've recorded every... Since I got it, I've recorded every single one of these damn map videos with this. It hasn't been giving me this much trouble until lately. I don't know why. Maybe it's just worn out. I don't know. Maybe I'm just an idiot. Alright, so obviously I'm going to keep good on my word. And we're going to go blow up that um, generator ASAP. Again, I just love how this map looks. This is that sci-fi base look. I don't know if I've really alluded to... Oh yeah, by the way, I always forget this. You can't jump through there. I don't know why so many Team Fortress Classic Sniper maps won't let you just jump through. I mean, maybe they're thinking that they don't want, like, you know, the enemy team conk jumping or something up there. But come on, at least, like, there's gotta be a way to make that one way. So at least if it's my base, I could jump out. Because sometimes you just want, you need to get out ASAP. 
You can't be messing around. Engineer. Oh, wow. But yeah, sometimes you just can't. You, you're in a hurry. You see something going down and you want to deal with it right away. But then, no, you can't because you got to go around and, like, you know, take the old long way. What fun is that? So, yeah, if you're trying. Don't blow yourself up, obviously. That's that's not how you go to the generator. I don't, again, I don't think I'm teaching anybody by saying that. But, um, yeah. That's how you, you can try to go from the upper ways and just, like, pray to God that you won't get yourself immediately, like, you know, sniped. But, no, just try to stay... Try to stay in... Uh, go through that little, like, one sewer area if you're actually trying to get down there. Again, just make sure it's kind of at least semi-clear before you do that. The snipers on the um, computer team aren't usually as uh, attentive. Kind of wish I didn't do that grenade there. Okay, go. Oh, what the hell? Ooh, oh, oh, ow, oof, whiff, whiff, whiff. All right, let's not be an idiot with our... Okay, let's go. Now's our chance. The, I, the bots typically aren't too attentive about this, so it's usually a pretty clean run over. Obviously, well, I say that. Yeah, good job, Win Windows ME. You're good for nothing. Oh, fuck off. The one time I'm trying to do this and everyone's paying attention. All right, let's go. You kind of have to be right next to it. It's another one of those cases like the wall in um, that one map. It's kind of weird. But yeah, usually it goes down in one go. And, uh, I think I'm the only demo man anyway, so I might as well just stick around and do that. You yeah, see, there you go. All their lights are off now. All their machines, too. It's not just the lights. Obviously, you know, having the lights on in this main area here isn't too big a deal. But, you know. Anyway, I just realized I don't actually have the flag in order to capture, but at least I can cause some chaos until I die. Oh, there you go. Okay, where is the flag carrier? This is another one of those maps that would really benefit from having the outline visible through the wall of the flag, like it is in TF2. You know what I mean. It's just, you know, I really wish there was some way that they could have done that. Like, or, you know, they could have put, like, some sort of compass thing. I really feel like, even on the HUD, I feel that's well within the realm of possibility. You know, you take it for granted nowadays that maybe players back in the day didn't want that. But I can't help but feel it's a little bit of a missed opportunity, you know what I mean? Oh, well. I really don't know where our flag is, though. Maybe it's down here. Oh, there it is. Alright, we got the spanner. Yeah, the enemy engineers never seem to figure out they can repeat, repair that. Okay, where's the fl where's our flag? Oh, crap! Now I gotta figure out where this lunatic went off to. God damn it. hate when this happens. Alright, well, this is a fresh start. Let's see. I mean, I wish I was the kind of the one grabbing it because, you know, I, I'd have, a, like, an inkling of, like, some strategy, but oh well. I know, I think I, I have seen bots actually capture the flag on this map, so it is possible for them to figure it out. Like, look at right? Like, what I'm talking about right there. This guy was going to do it. I mean, I, I'm sure no one on my team would have ever actually stopped him because they're idiots, so that would have been a disaster. Of course, now I don't know if the red flag's already left the base or not. Yeah, it's time to get serious. We need to scout grab this flag. The, the bots just ain't gonna do it. They're just not. I'm also gonna hang on tight and grab the flag myself. Because I can't trust these idiots at all. Flag. Oh, I thought that was mine. Damn it, game. Don't trick me like that. I mean, if you're the scout, the scout actually gets the ability to know where the flags are. I always bring that... Forget to bring that up, but it's actually a feature of the scout in this game. Um, it's just, it's so underused because you're not really doing that a lot of the time. Oh, what's this? Well, obviously gotta be a prick while I'm at, at it. Dick dastardly stops to cheat, as it is. Oh, wow! I actually went the wrong way and actually unta- I uncovered a plan of subterfuge. Oh, boy. Or, I don't know if that's the right word. But then again, we have the same idea. Yeah, you can't conk jump up over the, uh, like, roof, obviously. Because that'd just be too easy, I suppose. Move it, Mojo. Move it, pussy farts. Nope, 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 nope. Okay, we gotta... They go on our feet! They go on our feet! Be an asshole! Be an asshole! No, we're... No, that didn't pay off! Well... 
Yeah, great, great teleporter. Good job. That really, like, you know, helped the situation. Uh, don't kiss Shen. Don't kiss Shen. I'm gonna die anyway. I just need to grab the flag. I'm more sort of concerned just keeping it in action. Mojo doesn't know what the hell he's doing. I hate this game sometimes. Well, I'm gonna wait here because there's no chance in hell we're getting that flag back. Well, my fault for even going through that underway. I should have taken the higher way, but I was just so scared of the uh, snipers that I forgot about that temporarily. But no, I really should take advantage of the fact that they're, um... I blew up their, um... What's the word I'm looking for? D d um, generator. You know, I appreciate that semi, uh, you know, like, you know, snipe boost there, but that kills my armor. I mean, that's a strategy I haven't really brought up that much before in this game. Get the hell out of my way. Jesus. Um, you know, like, you know, sniper boosting where you charge up a shot and use it against, like, a teammate and they'll actually go flying because you're not actually taking damage. But they are affected by, like, the, the bullet itself and the weight of it. The weight of the shot, if that makes any sense. So you'll send them flying, but the only problem with that is, is that they'll also lose all, almost all their armor. In fact, they will just lose all their armor because it's a full charged sniper shot. And that's not something you want to be messing around with. Oh, for fuck's sakes. I'm really not starting to like this map. It's, it's just, it's too busy in the sense of like, there's too many ways to go. Uh, a lot of the like, paths don't make a lot of sense to a first time player. I, again, I really just wish it wasn't as wide. I'm not saying I hate it. That's a little bit, like, the too strong a word still. But, yeah, I can, I'm starting to see why this doesn't show up a whole lot in, like, you know, you know, server rotations and stuff. Especially the flag itself is annoying. Because, you know, especially if you're playing with idiots, like bots, they don't know what the hell they're doing. Okay, I forgot about my own scout's little ability there. That's what that looks like. Well, I felt like blowing that up anyway, because I knew I was going to die. No, never mind. Your flag is lying around. <laughs> Why did I ever think that that was useful? <laughs> Another false memory. I swear that would actually tell you where the flag is. Yeah, lying around. What the hell is that going to, like, tell me? That could be anywhere. It could be lying around on the surface of the moon, damn it. Goodness gracious. Yeah, this is the way you want to be going. If you're trying to capture with the dispenser or the generator broken. I don't know where the flag is, so I'm just going to be an idiot and break some stuff. Oh, it's right there. Oh, hell yeah. Never mind. Fuckage! Wow. 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 I have no comment. Well, at least that whoever bot was using it actually had the right idea, so I applaud them. See, that's the thing about Foxbot, is that sometimes it's actually kind of smart. It'll actually take the, like, the good way to get things done. And then sometimes it'll just drop the ball and not know what it's doing. There we go. Nice, nice. Oh. Well. Yeah. That's what happens. And then this happens, and it looks cool. I don't know why it happens. Hey, see, I wasn't lying earlier. The bots actually know how to capture on this map. So, for whatever, like, negatives, I kind of give it to it. At least it's not stalemate -y. This is not a stalemate -y map. Uh, you, it's very likely that, you know... Even the bots by themselves will eventually get through the, uh, and capture the flag. But see, like, I mean, the, the match did not respond, restart. So, yeah, it'll just keep on going. So, if you, which is kind of a bad thing, I suppose, if, like, the other team just can't, like, pass them, like, pass muster. Because they'll just keep getting their, you know, the, the keep getting points against them. Because, yeah, the attacking team that's really good or well-established will just keep throwing the flag in there. But on the other hand, too, I like that better because it keeps you in the game. And also, it's not like Epicenter where there's nothing really to blow up or, like, affect the map. Whereas, obviously, you know, having the detonator, like, having to be blown up every single time you, uh, get through or cap get a conceptual capture might get a little annoying. Yes, I actually did just blow. I hurt myself. Yep. I hurt myself today. Oh, if I didn't fuck that up, that would be amazing. Isn't that such a blanket term to say? Yeah, if I didn't absolutely just destroy everything and just blow it up in my asshole, then yeah, it would have been fine. I would have been so much farther ahead in life, you know? Where's the medic? I saw the medic and he disappeared. Was I just imagining him? Maybe. Also, too, I was worried for a second one of our, uh, our generator to be blown up, but no, it hasn't. I'm pretty certain the bots know how to do that. They just don't. 
I could be wrong, though. Yep, that's more what I was expecting. And we even have my body doing a little jig there. How appropriate. I mean, that is a useful ability now that we're talking about it. Because at least I can see whether someone's got it or not. But, you know, I would have liked to actually have the like, ability to see if it's around. Alright, well, I still like going this way, so... Just gotta move a lot. Yeah. Just jump around, that's your only hope. Because they'll snipe you from over there, too, obviously. I'm gonna hide. I wanna see if they'll... I don't know what Smelly Later's doing. Well, that was a great throw. I don't know what the hell I'm doing. I'm just trying to be annoying more than anything, I guess. Gotta break this entrance. There you go. Actually, what I'm trying to do besides that is that I want to kind of get rid of the sentries. Okay, smell you later. Who the hell are you? What the hell are you doing? I'm not too concerned about actually getting any more points or anything like that. Because basically I've shown off what the map is like and what a successful capture looks like. So it's not really that important, but like, you know, how could you have it for so long and yet, you know, not actually do anything? Are you just walking around somewhere? I'm gonna have to go explore our base now. Are you an enemy? You are! Ha! Ah! Well, I probably should have figured with him just kind of like throwing that grenade at me. Didn't really occur to me. Oh, there you are. Okay, do something. I like how the bots will drop down and not like take the like, you know, go through the base. They'll just go the upper way and drop down. I've seen them do that before and I like it. Shows are really impatient. Spy, 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 spy. Maybe not. Where do you go? God, I can't. I keep fucking losing the flag. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna go back up. I'm gonna do something a little dumb. I'm gonna try to conk jump up here. I will say there's a lot of options for getting around this base. Obviously, if you fuck it up is one thing. Well, that blew it. I'm an idiot. Okay, I just don't want to, to be... Okay, good. I just didn't want not want want to die and have it just sitting in the middle of like the open area there. Like I'm probably gonna die now by the sniper, or maybe not. Well, it's now or never. I've wasted all my conk jumps like an idiot. Ugh! See, the thing is, I wanted to run right on to the like capture point, just in the middle. Like you know what I mean. I wanted to run and just fall onto it, but there's a fucking like, the, 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 the uh, wall of the hole, like, you know, the side of the hole there is just out far enough that I ran into it and I get fucked over by the sentries because I bumped my head on it. I can't tell if that was intentional or not. Probably intentional, though. I mean, on one hand, you don't want people easily getting... Oh, fucking goddammit, Albert. You had to knock me off. I don't know why I'm so pissed off by everything all of a sudden. I'm tired of these Monday to Friday engineers in my Saturday re movie reference snakes on a plane base. Yeah. All right. Hopefully this is my chance for redemption. I'm going to keep in mind that I need to slow the hell down when I'm going to that one hole there so I don't fucking bump my head again. What are you looking at, Mojo? Your opinion doesn't matter. Ugh. The engineers are really annoying me all of a sudden. I'm not even like doing anything. They just keep running into me. Okay. Oh, this, that looked possible. So I guess the only real stalemate -y part of the map is at the end, conveniently enough. But the problem is, is that I don't have any real grenades to deal with them. If I, like, you know... If I had grenades, like, as another class and I got over there, you could just chuck them down and deal with that. But, you know, I'm playing scout because there's no other scout on my team. So, you know, it's just really hard to, to deal with. I mean, I could try to get over there and use my nail gun to, like, slowly whittle away them. But that's risky, too. So this this teleporter here keeps pissing me off. I'm gonna blow it up every single time. See? Look at that! They're all down there being assholes. Ugh. Well, it was a valiant effort. Well, let's see if the uh, biz, biz itch 
can figure this out, can muster the ability to capture this flag. It'd be nice. It'd be nice. It was just fun just spamming this for a billion years. It's lying around. Lying around. Lying around. You see that? Well, that didn't work out as I wanted either. I'm, I'm really on the top of the food chain tonight. So yeah, anyway, uh, Ravelin, um, despite having some gripes with it, I still quite think it's a good time. You know, definitely give it a shot if you've never played it yourself.